My son Dave bought an old house, a fixer-upper, and it had this stone wall out by the pool, which he didn't want. So we tore it down and stacked the stones. And many months later, after he'd finished the pool house, we built a little um, barbecue table. And then he didn't want any more of the stones. My son Dave gave me a bunch of stones. This was a little wall by his swimming pool that he took out. Um, it's real weird because they're all different thicknesses, but I just figured out I could split these things with a hammer and get semi-reliable results. Um, yeah, I'm going to lay them all out. I think I have enough to go from the shower to the step right here. I might even have enough to go back that way. I don't know. If I get to here, I'll be pretty happy. So I'm going to lay them all out, and then I'll have to move them out the way and level out the ground. And then decide what I'm going to set them on. Probably nothing too fancy. Just for foot, foot traffic. So my goal here in the beginning was not so much to lay out the stones where they're going to go. Because I'm going to pick them all up anyway. Just to get a bunch of them uh, split. As uh, you know. So they're all semi the same thickness. Learn how to split them. And I want to make sure I have enough. So I'm just... Um, prepping a bunch of these and so that when I put the concrete on the ground all I have to do is lay them out and wiggle them to grade and, uh, and be much quicker. Yeah, buddy. So I got plenty, plenty stones. Plenty stones. It's gonna be a lot of work, but I only have to do it once. I'm gonna move all the stones. I'm gonna lay out the walkway, maybe with some little like quarter inch strips of plywood that I can bend so I can have some grade, although the grade doesn't matter, but I don't want people tripping on the thing. And then I think I'll set them in, um, concrete and then come back and grout with a uh, masonry cement so if, i don't know if i buy six eight bags at a time i can do that in one day next weekend get a few more bags next week get a few more bags before you know it i'm gonna have a pretty nice walkway here for only the cost of the concrete and the mortar so if you have and use a shovel and you haven't sharpened the front of it razor sharp with a file or a flat disc on a grinder, you're working way too hard. Okay, I guess I should have videoed this, but I didn't. So these stones are set in dry concrete mix. Uh, I just dumped out the bag. This is three bags worth to get this far. And I take the stones and I wiggle them to grade and move them around till I like them. And then I'm just wetting the, uh, wetting the concrete and trying to wash it underneath the stones real good. And uh, leave it alone, we're gonna let it dry. Probably not following the rules here, but uh, I think it's gonna work. 
That's three bags of concrete mix. So I got to go to Home Depot in the morning, which is in Hammond. 40 minute drive. And it looks like that didn't get, that didn't get halfway. Probably need five. I'll get six more bags. Six more bags. We'll keep on going. Move the, move the forms in the morning. And uh, then after they're all set, I'll grout them in with some masonry cement, which, is, which has good sticky qualities. So these stones varied from like, I don't know, almost two inches to maybe three quarters of an inch. I tried to put the thicker ones on the outside edge, but uh, I don't know if it makes that much difference. And before everybody starts fussing at me, this is a walkway, it's not a road, no vehicle traffic, just people's feet. Um, probably could have just set the stones on the dirt, but they would have been all uneven. So the um, concrete powder lets me even them up easily and then Concrete's going to get hard whether you put water on it or not. And I put water on it. Um, if you keep it, it gets hard in the bag. So, um, and then the grouting it in with the masonry cement kind of locks them in. Although they're stuck down pretty good because they're they're not just sitting on top of the concrete. There's concrete between them. So, um, it's super easy and quick. And with these uneven stones, um, yeah, it worked. It worked. I don't, I think this is the best way to do this and we don't have freeze thaw cycles to deal with um, although I spent a night there last night and it got to 28 and there's no heat I froze but the ground didn't freeze and I don't think the ground ever freezes in uh, South Mississippi That bag of concrete went awfully fast. So at home with my big table saw, I ripped up a bunch of strips to use as forms and I ripped up a bunch of quarter inch plywood to make these little curves and I made a whole bunch of little stakes and I drove off and left them. So I made do with what I had at the country and then when I got home, I burned all that stuff I made because I didn't think I needed it anymore. And then when I did the other side, I realized I was gonna need some more. So I made a whole new set, but I remembered to bring them this time. So this is masonry mix, not just masonry cement. This has the um, the masonry cement and the sand all mixed up. You just add water. Now I didn't add much water. I mixed it pretty dry. And I'm shoveling it down between the stones as best I can because I really want some good adherence. Um, if I was, So, you know, I want to get 100% um, in all the cracks. But I also, some of these edges on these stones that we broke are real sharp. So I kind of have that in mind. So two objectives, uh, fill the cracks, make it look decent, and cover up all the sharp edges. So sweeping the top is done uh, after it gets hard, but before it gets hard. You gotta get it at the right time. You gotta get it where the broom can still remove some material and I'm doing that with my foot too but you don't want to uh, rip the stuff out the joint so timing is critical here with the broom I don't know why but I think the rule is acid to water not water to acid and I don't know how strong to make it <laughs> Maybe I'll start off like that and uh, 
<coughs> I can always make it stronger. So this is muriatic acid, not muriatic acid. I think they're two different animals. It's uh, usually pronounced wrong. Who, who am I to correct pronunciation, huh? Uh, anyway, this is to try to get some of the gray off the stones, kind of pretty them up a little bit. And it, it did that. Um, I probably could have done it two or three times, but I did it once and they look better and I'm good with that. So we're gonna uh, move on. So I decided it looked lopsided just going one way from the steps and I had the stone so I went the other way. Um, this time I had my good forms ripped from the house and I had three helpers so the camera like got put on the back burner because trust me I was busy. But uh, we laid them out this morning. That's six bag, no, f how many? Yeah, six bags of concrete, which you see right there. And uh, the next morning I routed them. What, what part of this concrete did you do? Um, I like laid like the stones. You brought them to me, huh? Yeah, I brought them to me. And which one, long ones or short ones? Both. Both. What did you do? Uh, I... You brought the stones in a pile, right? Uh, I just was breaking them in. Tell me what you did. Yeah. You sweeped? With a broom? Yes. Good. Very good. We've got a half a bag of the mortar mix left over from last time. It's been about a week, and somehow or another, it's not hard yet. So I'm going to use it up, and that's all I have, and then I'll try to guess it how much more I need to buy for my next strip. Enough of that. So that's how far a partial bag of masonry mix went. Probably one bag would finish, although it'd be pretty close. And I have some more stones. And I would like to have a walkway to the mechanical box, but this dirt back here is very unstable. So I don't know. I might like end it somewhere over here. Maybe make a curve and end it and put like loose stones or gravel or something back here because it's definitely going to subside. Anyway, uh, it's not finished, but uh, let's finish up this video. And I wish I would have had some video of the kids helping yesterday. But uh, trust me, I had my hands full at the time.